Max Payne. I'm super excited about doing this one, but for now I'm just going to stay quiet so you can all enjoy the intro in peace. shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Right, that's the intro. Now I'm in control. Uh, yeah, this is Max Payne. It is an awesome game. It was very popular back back in the day. Uh, can't quite remember when it was released. Uh, look in the info, I'm sure I've got it there. And uh, it was one of the first games that did slow mo bullet time. But less than less than a crappy gimmick, it does work really well. Um, as I say, I'll keep quiet in cutscenes or whenever any characters are speaking. Uh, sometimes, for some reason, especially in the well, well, in game and in the in the the comic strip uh, little scene bits, sometimes the voices are quiet for seemingly no reason. There's not much I can do about that. I'm sorry, but um, I will try to keep as quiet as I can while any characters are speaking, so you can. Uh, Try and follow the story, if that's what you want. So, uh, let's go! Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Yeah, who's vandalizing my home? And why is my home so brown? Who broke my mirror? Who goes there? Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Dun dun dun! Who was that? Wasn't here. Mm, open the damn thing. Shotgun, give me the shotgun. Wasn't here. Nothing. There's a, a box. Ugh! Freaking box. Anything on TV? Hmm. VHS. <laughs> Max, get with the times, man. 
Actually, was this before? Yeah, this was before DVD really hit the scene. Oh, pictures of Max and his wife. Yeah. Uh, well, let's take a look at the house some more. Random picture. I'm betting that's a picture of some development team or something. The Hero Cops. Hey, that's Max in there. Uh, what's the name? Alex. Anyway, let's keep going. What was that? Michelle! No! No! <gasps> no! 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 Don't like the sound of this. Coming. Freeze! NYPD drop! It's coming! Jump! Shoot! Kill! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Yeah. Sweet. Dead? Dead. No. Uh oh. No, no, please God, no. Also dead. That's not good. Hmm. The flesh of fallen angels. Jump! Boom! No, 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 <gasps> God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Oh, that's his wife. Dead. Nice music. No! Hey, he's, he's not saying that. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral. I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Part 1, The American Dream. Chapter 1, Roscoe Street Station. So a bunch of junkies seem to have broken into Max's house and murdered his child and his wife, which is very nasty. So now he's all super moody and talks in metaphors all, all the time. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. Beretta stirred nervously under my coat with the train doors that already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Yeah, like then his voice was a bit quiet, but he wasn't saying anything particularly important. But what's with the, the funny pose? was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Sorry, spoke over me a little bit then. Yeah, I was saying, what's with the funny pose though? Well, you'll find out quite soon. See, I'm not doing a regular... I'm not doing a regular Let's Play of Max Payne. Um, I'm, I've got a nice little surprise for you, which you'll soon find out. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. More like death's on the floor, idiot. So we can open all sorts of things, you know, and what's the first thing you do when you walk into an employee uh, shower room? Well, you check all the lockers. Make anything that's useful. Like these bullets. I'm sure train drivers need those all the time. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. And yeah, I bet it's a stressful job. Take a quick shower. Okay, all good. Let's go.